Eyewitness Sports right now. In a world where sports bring people together and are often a relief from other world pressing news, today sports have become the subject of the news. There have been many developments today in sports regarding the coronavirus. And as you've heard earlier in the show, the virus is thought to spread easily when large groups of people gather together, such as at sporting events. And as such, the NBA has suspended the rest of its season starting tomorrow. The NHL says it will have an update on its plans tomorrow. The New York State Public High School Athletic Association announced this afternoon that fans will not be allowed to attend the Ice Hockey State tournament games this weekend. And this includes Whitesboro Boys Ice Hockey State semifinals game on Saturday at the Harbor Center and potentially the finals game on Sunday. The NCAA announced that fans will not be allowed to attend any Division I March Madness basketball games. The NCAA also announced that no fans may attend the NCAA's ice hockey tournament games, including the Utica College Division III quarterfinals game on March 21st. And the ACC has announced that starting tomorrow, no fans may attend the ACC men's basketball tournament games. Each announcement says these decisions have been made out of caution about the spread of the coronavirus. And as of now, though, there are no changes to the high school basketball state tournament games this weekend. But we'll continue to have updates for you on CNYHomePage.com. In games that were played tonight, top seed Colgate men's basketball played in the Patriot League finals. The Raiders hosted three seed Boston University, and Colgate looking for its second straight title. Early on, Jordan Burns gets under the basket after the Raiders forced a turnover. He led with 21 points, puts Colgate up 17 10. So the Raiders with their biggest lead so far, and Jack Ferguson makes the long ball to give Colgate a nine point lead with the and one. BU came back within four points at halftime. Now the second half, Rappelis Ivanoskis drives in for the layup. The Raiders up 43-40. Then it's still close to the very end. Boston leads the final minute of play. Then Burns from long makes the three. Brings Colgate within three points of tying it. Colgate had the ball in the final seconds of play with a chance to tie it. But the Raiders missed a couple of three-point shots. And Boston University wins the Patriot League championship. Colgate comes up just short, 64-61. The Raiders now wait to see if they earn a spot in the NCAA or the NIT tournament. In men's basketball today, Herkimer College won the NJCAA Division III first round by three points. The Generals were trailing at halftime, 31-26. Herkimer came back in the second half for the victory. Ty Desenor had a double-double, leading the Generals with 15 points, 10 rebounds. Keyshawn Miller had 12 points. Herkimer College moves on to play top seed Sand Hills in the quarterfinals tomorrow at 3 p.m. Utica Comets played on home ice tonight, hosting the Syracuse Crunch. Utica plays Syracuse in four of its next seven games. That includes tonight and five of its final 16 in the regular season. And the Comets entered tonight in third place in the North Division, six points ahead of the Crunch with one game in hand. The Comets had a power play, and late in period one, Justin Bailey buries one in front of the net. His 28th goal of the season puts Utica on the board first. By the way, check out the Comets throwback Canucks jerseys tonight. The Comets led by one at the first intermission, then gave up two goals in the second period to fall behind 2-1. The Crunch scored again in period three, 3-1 final. And around the AHL, the Rocket beat the Senators tonight 3-0. Belleville remains in first place in the North Division. The Comets remain eight points behind the Senators with two games in hand. The Devils beat the Americans 5-2, so the Comets remain two points behind Rochester with one game in hand. But Utica is now just one point ahead of Binghamton with one game in hand. Utica City FC was on the road tonight. The city lost to Harrisburg Heat 5-3. UCFC had a two-goal lead early in quarter two. Then the Heat scored four goals in a row to hold a 4-2 lead in the fourth. Utica has now lost three games in a row for the first time this year, and it's the city's first loss to the Heat this season. UCFC is now tied for second place in the Eastern Division with the Milwaukee Wave. So for now, that's all for sports. Be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com for all your top sports stories, highlights, scores, and updates. There's more Eyewitness News after the break, so stay friendly and stay tuned.